Let's talk about summer birding, and sometimes summer birding can feel like kind of the worst, but there's definitely some pros to uh, birding during the summer season. But let's start with kind of the year as a whole. So you start off in January in the winter. Normally there's less species to see, it's colder, there's not as many leaves on the trees. So it can be a, a good time to start birding actually, because you can just look at what's around your yard. It's not really overwhelming. Then spring, you have the massive migration of all the species coming through. Can be a little overwhelming if you're a beginner, but it's also super exciting. And then we have summer when the trees leaf out. So it's a lot harder to see the birds uh, in the trees and the branches. So a lot of birding in the summer is uh, birding by ear, working on your birding by ear, because it's a lot harder to see things. You have a lot more bugs around and it's normally a lot hotter. So sometimes it can be, you just go birding in the morning and then you come back because it's so hot or because it's so buggy, but it's a great time to learn the birds in your backyard because things are nesting. So you'll have local species that might be nesting in your neighborhood or just if you go out in the forest, they'll be nesting. So this is the perfect time to learn the species that you have year round or the ones that nest in your area, get to know their calls, get to know their songs, get to know what they look like. Uh, we have a bunch of videos on learning bird songs and calls that you can check out. I'll put a link in the description if you want to peruse those and learn about some of the bird songs and calls. Um, there are some rarities that'll pop up randomly, but overall it's kind of a slower time of birding. And when I started, I thought the summer was gonna be crazy. I thought summer, you know, it's hot, uh, there's gonna be birds everywhere, but things kind of slow down. Uh, you get those nesting species and the occasional rarity, but it, it's, I think it's the perfect time to say, all right, what's around my backyard? Let me learn what's here. Let me work on my birding by ear skills and get ready for the fall migration. So in the spring, you get all the colorful birds because they're in their breeding plumage. So like the warblers are all colorful or easy to tell apart. In the fall, sometimes they're a lot more drab because they're in their, their non-breeding plumage and it's a lot harder to tell them apart. So you can work on those, but if you're starting to learn your warblers, they're a lot easier in the spring. But in the fall, we still get a good migration. Sometimes you get other species moving through in the fall that don't move through in the spring. At least by us in the Midwest, we get a lot of cool shorebirds that come in the fall. So it's a perfect time to learn those. And then we hit the winter again at the end of the year. So during the different seasons, you can focus on different things. Um, I have a couple nest box cameras up in the yard. So I'm able to watch the birds as they're nesting, which I think makes it a lot more interesting of an experience having the nesting birds actually seeing what they're up to. But yeah, overall summer can be tough. Me and Ryan kind of call it like the summer slump you slip into because there's not as many things to go like chase or uh, you know rare birds to then find. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is summer can be a great time to travel to other places because even though there might not be new birds coming to your area, you could travel to somewhere you've never been and see the local breeding birds and year round birds there. So a lot of times we'll travel in the summer, maybe to someplace a little cooler, get to see the birds there and have a really cool experience visiting somewhere else. So yeah, summer can be hot, buggy, uh, and hard to see birds with the leaves, but there's things you can work on like birding by ear, learning your local species, and maybe traveling to other places, also preparing for fall migration. So hope you found this helpful. You can keep learning about birds in our Birding 101 series or our other videos. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a comment, that all helps us out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.